What's going on Chavez Slovakia? It is your boy Chavez here and we are back again just like always with a fantastic video of momentous occasion that is sure to take you on the most spectacular adventure that you've ever been on for the rest of the day. Now, that video of course is... <laughs> They didn't remember. Casually explained. Now we we saw one casually explained video a couple of months ago. This guy takes the time and effort of Salt Bay on his goddamn videos, and I appreciate him for it. A little bit of dry humor now, okay? So if you don't understand the jokes, don't worry. I'll be trying my best to pause the video every couple of seconds to tell you how funny I think he is. I think the last one we watched was Breaking the Ice which is absolutely hilarious. If you haven't seen it, make sure you to go watch it as soon as possible. Uh, earlier today, we dropped two games. We dropped the first Four Honor gameplay. We dropped the Breaking the Bank gameplay. I'm still finishing that series. That series will be done in the next couple of days. Then after that, we are going to get started on Alien Isolation, Mass Effect, Honey Pop, and all kinds of stuff. So make sure you guys stay tuned. But in the meantime, I'm going to get into this most wonderful video. Of course, uh, Cash Explains channel is in the description down below. Make sure you click that link. Go check out the rest of his videos. Can't handle watching all of them on screen. It's just too guys. Goddamn funny, man. All right, let's do it. In dating and relationships, a red flag is a small thing you notice in someone else's behavior. I had myself muted. I'm, I'm gonna leave that in for y'all, but just know I, I didn't hear anything he just said. In dating and relationships, a red flag is a small thing you notice in someone else's behavior that's symptomatic of Did a Did I say the video was called Red Flags? Okay, this guy's got expert relationship advice. If he says that something's a red flag, you better goddamn believe it. All right, let's do it. Sorry, all right. I really like the guy. I'm excited. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. In dating and relationships, a red flag is a small thing you notice in someone else's behavior that's symptomatic of a bigger problem. The trouble is that oftentimes a red flag can be hard to pick up on because red flags aren't only what someone does, they can also be what they don't do. And some red flags are certainly Aww. worse than others, so I want to start with the more mild ones and move up from there. Assuming you start with a blank white flag, at the lowest level we have red and white flags, which are just small quirks or inconsistencies that aren't bad, <laughs> just kind of weird. Things like they don't lick the yogurt off the lid, they use Internet Explorer, they hold the door open for you as soon as they see you park your car, or they're apologetic even if something is your fault. Basically, if it can be explained with, oh, Canadian, then it's probably in this category. <laughs> God damn it, because it's true. Canadians are very pleasant. I don't know any Canadians that use Internet Explorer, though. Is that true? Do you Canadians still use IE? Is that something that you guys do still? And I don't know about licking the lid of your yogurt. One time I had a yogurt that's like had one of those aluminum tops, and I licked it, and I cut my tongue. Couldn't even enjoy my yogurt. That was devastating for me. Devastating! Sorry. So let's get started on the serious stuff. Low-tier red flags. A low-tier red flag is something that's probably bad. I love the depiction of the mountain that she's on right now. But not now. necessarily a complete deal breaker. They don't laugh at your jokes. <laughs> is she into you? It's one of his videos <laughs> with her watching it. Um, I thought this was just normal, but they say if a girl doesn't laugh at your jokes, she probably isn't very compatible with you. <laughs> don't worry, it gets better in a second. Just watch my video all the way through, please! <laughs> if a girl is really into you, though, she'll likely laugh at all your jokes, even if they're not very good. It, that's not you, by the way. It's an old video, just a coincidence. Haha. <laughs> I hate when that shit happens. When I make videos and people realize that the stuff I'm talking about is about them. They have a secretive past. Uh, this depends a lot on how communicative the person is. Uh, they might just be anxious about sharing personal <laughs> details, but if they have no problem talking about anything and everything except their past, is either something they don't want you to know, which is pretty bad, or they're a Russian spy, which is pretty hot. <laughs> which is pretty hot. <laughs> Have anybody seen Archer? That's what that makes me think of, that Archer episode. Uh, putting you on a pedestal? Yeah. That is to say they think you're way out of their league. This one's obviously more common for guys to do to girls, but it can go the other way around too. Imagine I was in bed with a girl. Just gonna let that sink in. <laughs> Just, just try to, just try to imagine that that could happen. Um, imagine I was in bed with a girl, a and Russian she spy whispered, girl. "Oh my God, the casually explained. <laughs> Tell me again about how many subscribers you have." <laughs> of course, that would be a huge turn on, and I have dreams about that. I don't want to know that. 
What does that have to do with the topic at hand, my man? Stay focused, casually explained, please. But it's probably going to be a pretty one-sided relationship. Think of how celebrities almost always date each other, even though they could be with any fan they wanted. <coughs> <laughs> who is that? Hold on, I didn't see who that was. I still don't know who that is based on the face shot. Shut up, hey. L look, give me a break, okay? It's just a floating head. At least tell me what movie she's in. <coughs> Uh, they have the same last name as you. That's a bad sign. Okay. In most places. Damn. All right, mid-tier red flags. What was that story about that dude who ended up dating like his cousin or whatever? These are a bit more serious and are usually harder to overcome or talk about. Oh, it's an iceberg. Tread very carefully if you notice any of these. They're a stripper. Uh, okay. On paper, it might sound well and good, but when it inevitably doesn't work out. <laughs> what is he looking up? Like he's like, he's like all the way in there. That from now on, you can only pay for things by card. <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. You don't have Worth any independence. Uh, will people be mad if you don't make a vid for six weeks? Buy YouTube subscribers. Buy YouTube views. Buy YouTube subscribers for five something something. A hundred K plat goes here, which he doesn't have, and he's got a tissue by his keyboard. And we all know what that means. He's nasally. He's got influenza. Probably the flu. Uh, that is to say, if they have no interests or hobbies or ambitions in their life, it's likely they'll try to involve themselves in every moment of yours. What job, They'll actually weigh you down and get in the way of your goals. Kind of like Reddit. This nigga had a best son, second place medal. I love wholesome memes. Hey, I'm busy. <laughs> I love wholesome memes. Uh, they trash talk their ex a lot early in the relationship. This is usually an indicator they're still emotionally invested in their previous partner, and it can be very difficult to build a new relationship from the rubble of an old one. Intimidatingly smart. Got that from Tumblr. <laughs> Eight inches. Uh, using ultimatum. <laughs> These are saying things like, you have to do X, or I'm going to do Y. You have to watch out, though, because that's like me saying, if you don't subscribe, I'm not going to be your friend, which I would never say. <laughs> Only thing. Only thing. <laughs> Alright, next is high tier red flags. Damn! These are the ones that are completely. A lot of dude is getting so intense now, the sun's not even smiling like anymore. They're pretty much always non negotiable. They're married. Okay. Unless you're into that. Uh, they're already pregnant. Unless, unless you're, you're into, into that. that. <laughs> uh, they're under 18. This is just. No. You stop that. Unless you're also under 18. But the chances are that you're not if I'm telling you to stop that. Red flag, it's a felony, but... God damn, you see Chris Hansen? Huh? Do you want to be the next one to take a seat? I think not, sir. If you do find yourself attracted to girls who are still in high school, a great way to get over what? that is to talk to one of them. Hey, that's they true. Wait staff poorly. I think being mean to other people in general is a good sign of how they're going to treat you in the future, and I know that'd be hard to deal with because... We sing happy birthday because a free dessert never actually is free. <laughs> My self-esteem is based on what other people think of me. Damn, uh, bro. I don't like their friends. People tend to be friends with... He's hanging out with the duck from the picture before. ...people similar to them, and if someone surrounds themselves with unsavory individuals, mm. it tells you a lot about that person. True. Now, after a long time, eventually you might find that after going on date after date or going through relationship after relationship, even just after meeting a lot of new people, you start to think, it really seems like pretty much everyone I meet has something wrong with them. They don't get me. They always have problems they don't think are problems. Right. I can't connect with them right. at all. And why can't I find someone who's not such a disaster? This is the maximum tier red flag. It's actually just <laughs> the unsinkable number two Titanic joke because he's hitting an iceberg. I love I it. I sound pretty bad, but in a way, realizing that you might be a bit more responsible than you previously thought is the first step to becoming a more wholesome person and having better relationships with other people. And if you have a friend who shared this video with you, now is the moment uh... to reflect on whether they thought you'd find it funny and interesting or if they're trying to passive-aggressively tell you something. <laughs> Which we would think even more now that you said it. Oh my goodness. Well, listen here, guys. I'll see if I can find a link to any of these pages because uh, these links are not clickable on the screen here, but Casually Explained has done it yet again. I fucking love this guy's videos, man. This shit's hilarious. It's like, it's real advice 
mixed with jokingly advice, which is freaking perfect, man. Jesus, that guy is good. God damn it. I'm jealous. White and red flag, disappears for January without a trace, comes back in February expecting you to pretend nothing happened. Is she into you? That's that's fantastic. I'm definitely gonna have to check out more of this dude's uh, videos. They're freaking hilarious, man. I haven't seen all of them yet, but I will continue to chug along throughout the day. Now, Czechoslovakia, got some other things I gotta get to go doing. I'll see you guys later. Huh? You guys take it easy. Peace!